There it is. It's showtime. <laughs> That's what it said. Let's happy give, Sunday, everyone. Yeah. Happy, happy Sunday. We'll get to our happy news as I look outside. Um, let's see. Phil's in here. Peterson Farms in Nashville. How are you doing? Good to see you. And uh, you know what? I got something on with some volume. You you take it for a second. <laughs> okay. you, you lead the show. Like a <laughs> I love it when he does that. No, it's been a good weekend, good Sunday, other than the ugly white stuff that's sitting down on the ground right now. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it all taken care got of. Got it taken care of. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about that, Phil. Let's see who else. Uh, I think, I don't know I, if there's ads that play at the start. If you're watching the ads, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we, uh, let's give everybody a second. Uh, jump in and, and say hi so we know you're all in there. Phil, I see you. Hopefully, uh, if you watch the ads, you're in now. So, Thanks for jumping in. I see six, six on board right now. I'm trying to see who else is coming. Yeah, it's been, it's been ugly here. Yeah. It's been ugly today. Yeah. Melissa, yeah, happy there. Let me. Uh, happy snow. <laughs> happy snowy Sunday. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cold and windy and blowy and yeah. One of these days, Ricky, you're going to say uh, hello from Alabama or something. When you got to tune in when you're on vacation <laughs> or hello from uh, Wyoming uh, and seeing your vacation videos. And uh, one of these times you're going to check in from somewhere else. Phil, I, I said hi to you before. Maybe you were watching some other stuff, but uh, welcome, Phil. Um, down there. There you go. Yeah, join the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, it's windy, rainy, cold. Yep. After what we've had down in Cali. All right. Man, you get you get around a little bit. That's all right. There, Tom. <laughs> Love it. Welcome, Tom. Thanks. Yeah, right. Yeah. What just happened? Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna go through some things here just to kind of set the stage for what we have done. Uh hi Russ. Thanks for uh, jumping in from Ohio or another state added. Find your meme that you oh, had. The one yes. Holly came across the meme. That's a meme, right? Yeah. Um, I'm an old or, guy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Phil. 80 and sunny yesterday. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But Holly came across one that absolutely encapsulates what we've been through here. And just oh just nasty. Get some videos out soon. Yep. It's good. OP. Greenfield. Welcome from uh Greenfield. You gotta uh, throw a name down there so we know what to call you next time. I'd love to. So I'm not calling you. What was that? Uh, what was that song? That was OPP. Who's down yeah. with OPP? You know, it's you and me. <laughs> yeah. There. And Curtis, uh, welcome in. I've been seeing some stuff. Yeah, your Taj Mahal down there for your chickens. Uh, yeah. Real good. I don't know if you can hold that up. I don't know mm -hmm. if it'll show. Oh, maybe not. Why don't you just read it? Yeah. Maybe. It says Mother Nature, you cannot fit all seasons into one week. Minnesota. Yeah. Hold my beer. Yeah, that's been bad. <laughs> that's about what it's been. We went from spring... I'll, I'll, Let me get... Yeah, yeah, we've hit everything. I didn't rake leaves, so uh, we didn't have fall, really. No, uh, technically. but yeah, we went from spring weather to, you know, 30s, 40s to 90 oh, for works. a few days. And then now we're back in 30s and snow. That's nasty. I'm Rick. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Rick. Hope you're doing good. Um, let's see, Matt and... Matt and Robin here, windy and sunny. Sunny, you're on the back yeah. side of the storm. Uh, right now, the, the storm, actually, Phil, the storm is probably coming down towards you. Um, and, oh, shoot, I forgot. Uh, and Russ, you uh, down in Ohio. It is, see if I'm doing this right. It's to get, coming but from it's the north. Straight just, from the north. Yeah. Because the low is to our east. So everything's going counterclockwise and all the snow's coming straight from the north. It was, yeah. Yeah. Ricky was up north. The snow was all gone today. Several inches of snow. Yep. 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 yep that's. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that meme was, was absolutely dead on. Yes. Um, I'm going to just before we get into gardening chat and some of that stuff. Um, do you want to show your. 
show what you're working on or you know what someone else yeah. will uh someone else yeah, will we'll get more people in here and yeah low tonight in the 40s you know what i wish it was uh i wish it was that warm here yeah curtis it was we're uh, sitting at like 34 right now and we're supposed to get into the upper 20s tonight yeah it's it's gonna be bad cindy how are you doing yeah good evening thanks for joining us here tom you read my mind kid Plenty yeah. of <laughs> fresh snow <laughs> That's why I was when I got out this morning and looked. Uh, all the potatoes we put in the ground, the carrots. Um, that's what yeah. they need. Yeah. We got about it officially, um, and it's still coming down, but very, very light. Um, we got an inch and a half. That's what the weather service said just a little bit ago. An inch mm -hmm. and a half. I don't think we're gonna have much more. Just gotta so. add to the totals for whatever snowiest weather winter. Yeah, we're I think at number three. Ricky, thanks. Yeah, yeah, Mother's Day. If if we get snow in May, I'm coming to find you. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go talk behind the shed oh, or something. I, I remember that. I oh. remember. I still remember. Know. You know, there being ice on the lakes up north up when north. we try to go fishing. Holly, Holly's from up north, northern Minnesota, where yeah. it's probably ten degrees cooler yep. than here. On average, they're ten degrees colder. Yeah. And usually Mother's Day weekend, we'll have the Minnesota fishing opener, the start of yes. fishing season. Yeah. And there are times, it's rare, but there are times where they've literally gone out on some of the northern lakes and ice fish. Yep. So, uh, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. What we got? We got no snow. Nice. Still no naked ground. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, that's great. Hey, Paul, thanks for joining us. Good to, good to see you. Um, you're not dealing with snow, so <laughs> Paul's down in Australia. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. uh, no, nothing needed there. Yeah. So let's see the apple tree. I have an apple tree that I want to plant the second week of May. We want to, we've been doing some clearing, yeah. trying to get that darn uh, mm -hmm. orchard area open. And then we got to do some ground prep and still look for trees and stuff. So, yeah. uh, and then pull out whatever junk needs to be pulled out. And... Yep. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. We were just uh, talking about you, all the tomatoes and stuff. We're going to get <laughs> into some, uh, some garden chat. I want to hear what you got going and how, how things are working there. Let's, we're yeah. talking weather. We got to do a little complaining. Someone said, Rich, you're always complaining about the weather. You know what? Yeah, I got to be consistent. So 49 tonight, summer peas. I was going to get the peas in the other day. And then looking at the forecast, yeah, I didn't he know waited. if they were going to go mushy and just kind of rot in the ground. So so let me show you. Here is Minnesota. Uh, Holly was talking about three seasons in, you know, in a day, basically, or in a week. Yeah. Um, it's the 16th today. So I'm going to go back to the 6th. And our normal high and low, our normal high is 57 right now. Our normal low is uh, 35. That's normal April weather for where we are in Minnesota. Here's the high temperatures. And this is uh, the starting at the 6th. Our yeah. high temperature, 37, the 7th, 54, the 8th, 68. Last Sunday, Easter Sunday, 66. Nice day out. Mm -hmm. Last Monday, 72. Last Tuesday, 81. Wednesday, 90. <laughs> Thursday, 89. It was like a blast furnace out here. About a 25-mile-an-hour sustained wind with other gusts. Yep. And yeah. 89 on Thursday. Friday, 82. Again, beautiful night. Yesterday, 43. Today's high, 33. So we have gone <laughs> from 37 a week ago Thursday to 33, but in between we hit 90. Unreal. Yeah. I, I just I, I had to write it down. I if you don't <laughs> if you don't look at the 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 stats, you wouldn't believe it. We have just and and I guess I shouldn't complain that it's 33, because that's pretty common. But you know what? We were gifted for about what was Almost it? Almost a week. The five eighth, days. eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. So whatever those uh, six days a week, we were yeah. above sixty, and we had highs in the eighties. Yeah. Four days. All right. I I I will stop complaining there. So <laughs> <laughs> excited to see our orchard. Thank that we're so working to make that yeah. happen. We wanted to do it last summer and it just didn't. So uh yeah, we had too many other things going on in the garden that we needed to take care of. And yep. Get... Will corn make it after all the snow? You know what? I think corn, well, here's here's the thing. I, corn needs some warm soil to get going. 
while I was out working on the garden Thursday yeah. or Friday, the, the gentleman, Tom, who farms around us came out and he was out in the field and he took some temperature readings and the ground was like 68 degrees or something. 62, 62, 62 I'm sorry. So not 62 degrees. That's probably warm enough to plant corn. Now, yeah. what's the temperature doing now? It's uh, it's dropping quick. So, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, that means that there was no frost left in the ground. There was nothing cold coming up. So, yep, yep. Gwen, welcome aboard. Yeah. Gwen, I, I will tell you, everybody, if you have not gone to Gwen's channel, Broke Cowgirl Homestead, please do. She's got a video of one of her little goats that she bottle feeds. Yep. And I, I forgot the name. It's a long name and then you shortened it and I was going to write it down. I forgot a to. Chevy. The Chevy. Okay. Yeah. Um, unreal. If your heart does not Such melt, cute... if your heart yeah. does not melt listening to that little goat when she hears Gwen coming to the barn, I don't know. Yeah. You're, you're, you're the Grinch and you got a, a heart <laughs> that needs to expand. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's just sweet. My. She's so excited to hear her comment. It's... It was so good. Yeah. Um, Merton and Sue, welcome. Thank you. You have to tell us where you're traveling to or where you're at now. I think this is your first time in, so thank you. Ricky asked a question. Will I be yeah. self? Will I be safe planting my apple tree in northern Minnesota in the middle of May? I hope so. I hope so too. I, yeah. I, you know, the only thing would be, uh, you know, if you get a hard frost, you're planting it. So I guess you don't care this year if you get apples. Uh, otherwise, you know, you want one that's hardy for that region. And if there's blooms and it gets a frost, yeah, you might lose those. But this year you want it to put all its energy down underneath yeah. anyway. So there you go. Keep it in a large plant or move it inside. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Um, get the whole dug, put it in a big planter, move it inside if it's too cold. And then when you know it's safe, then put it in the ground. Um, keep it outside during the day get some wind and everything harden things off and get it going did you um, see what gwen said up there i did not we've been warmer than she has you know <laughs> that's amazing some people down in texas were saying that when we were 90 and 89 on uh wednesday and thursday yeah. people in texas were cooler than us it's yeah. just been a wild um and all the wind was straight from the south it was really cooking bringing in that warm air. So I thought that would be, you know, from all of you. So uh, there you go. Hi, Daz. Welcome aboard. Uh, g'day from all of us up here. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that the right way with Minnesota yeah. accent on there. <laughs> Let's see. Being interviewed. Yes. yes. I I was watching that. Gwen, that, that was great. Lisa's, uh, I, we missed it on Friday night. We had some stuff going on. Uh, I'm sorry, because I want to get in there and... Uh, you know, hear, hear the stories live and, and be able to react and ask some questions. And uh, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't let me forget bottle time. Uh, that was the cutest thing. Mm -hmm. Again, go over to Gwen's channel, watch that video. If that doesn't warm your heart, nothing will. Uh, nothing will. So uh, let's see who else we uh, have got in here. See if I missed anybody. I'm going to try to keep up Linda with uh, there. there you go, Jenny. Welcome. That's why I love it here. Yeah, I don't know. Blenda and Chuck, uh, welcome. Thanks for uh, for jumping in. Good to see you all mm -hmm. from down south where it's where it's warmer. Let me see. Do we have anybody on here that's a um, admin or something? They can yeah. put. Uh, okay. Yep. If if someone doesn't mind doing that, if not, uh, don't worry about it. We'll we'll work on that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Holly. You needing baby boots? Something. You, <laughs> oh. you know what? I, I will. I will. And Daz, you know, this is nice. Uh, I will take that as a chance to announce. I am gonna be. Yeah. No, we're no. not pregnant. No. 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 Let's not. Uh, let's not go no. there. I'm gonna be somewhere in November. I'm gonna be a grandpa again. Yeah. I've got one grandson. I'm gonna have a another grandchild. I guess they haven't mm -hmm. determined yet. They haven't. Uh, Has not been I don't announced know if they're yet. gonna. I think they were going. To. Are they gonna figure that out? Yeah. So I know what to what yeah. to buy. Yep. And I don't no, know. No, this is actually a start of another blanket. It's the style is corner to corner. So you grow out from the bottom here and then just keep kind of going back and forth until you reach your desired size. 
you just keep go going and going and, then, going and yeah. then start getting smaller. Yep. She is teaching me all sorts of <laughs> stuff. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, I just, uh, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah. You know, I, I love my grandson. I love my kids, love my grandson and to have, uh, they're going to be up here in July. And, uh, but to have another one, uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. It was, I remember being told I was going to be a grandpa the first time. So cried my eyes out. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the crier, the crier dad, crier, uh, grandpa so uh yeah. I, it doesn't take much to get me going so <laughs> <laughs> let's see you know we want to talk gardening tonight let's, let's yep. dive in here a little bit yeah um if we go an hour and a half we go an hour and a half if we're a little less whatever let's have some fun i want to know what everybody's doing you know daz and and uh paul you guys down down under you guys are are harvesting obviously uh, but uh, and you can tell us that i that's part of what i want to know but the uh, the uh, yeah, I love the colors, Holly. <laughs> Thanks. This is, doing these lives is great. My ADHD just fires on all cylinders, yeah. but it's like a olive green, light blue, and white, right? Yeah. Got my colors. There we go. Um, but you guys down under are are uh, harvesting, sure. and even yeah. I don't know. Barb's not in here yet, um, but I know she's been doing stuff, uh, harvesting things and canning already, and unreal um some of the stuff that's harvesting so i want to kind of step through and see who's what do you got started so far mm -hmm. as far as you know what what's starting right now and did i miss win mini i i think you've been in here before and i'm not remembering the name i'm i'm sorry uh throw your name down below if you if you don't mind i i don't remember what's the does the blanket pattern work fast yeah it actually does and you know it works really quick, especially if you're using a chunkier yarn. This is more of a light. It's lighter than worsted, lighter than so. It, but yeah, it works pretty quick, and it's the same same thing over and over. So it makes it easy just to sit and do without having to worry about following the pattern. Worsted is a kind of yarn. It's a weight. Oh, worsted. Why don't they just call it like light, medium, heavy, extra heavy? <laughs> They, they do. There's, it's like, it's there's like, bulky. There's, it's like going to a coffee yeah. shop and you have to order bente, whatever. You have to know all the, <laughs> all the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Paul's, uh, you'll be in and out of the chat. You're at yeah. work. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to, we're trying to not get you fired. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh oh. New garden planting tools Ooh. share later in the spring. Okay. Yeah. I want to hear yeah. about that. So they say ADHD tip, saffron. No, no, no. I don't I don't want to tame my ADHD. That helps. I can <laughs> I can multitask on like eight things at once. And um, it's just trying to it'll be squirrel and I'm and I'm off on a bit of a tangent. Yeah. So um, sometimes that's very entertaining. So uh, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Um, yeah, waiting for things. Ricky's waiting for things to dry off up north. Yep. Yeah. It's it's been yeah you got some good trails up there that you want to um clean out and get ready for uh get ahead of everything for hunting season let's see a month pulling out tomatoes putting in brassica more potatoes Daz, i don't know if i have you pulled out potatoes so far i know that last year i never got into potato videos until yeah. we did one then it's like well i want to see what everybody else is doing and i remember you pulling out some potatoes last year because they were you know a little bit here a little bit there some stuff that just been thrown and you you got a harvest so um have you done a potato video because now yeah. i'm kind of into potato videos mm -hmm. so <laughs> be able to dive in a little bit yeah putting the putting all the stuff in um your your cold weather stuff more garlic that's good you're still phil he's starting whatever's at rural king there you go <laughs> Oh, Nelson's in here. Hey, thanks. Hey. Uh, yeah, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Hello to, to all of you down yeah. there in North Carolina. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate that. Let's see. Cindy's got tomatoes and peppers. Rhubarb. Yeah. Just Okay, rhubarb. That's one thing. we got to get a chunk. Uh, we just got to get it from Carmen. Carmen, if you're yeah. watching, we need to just get a chunk of your rhubarb and put it in the ground when we get, our, <laughs> get the orchard and all the fruit kind of put in. I'd like some rhubarb, yeah. but that's... That's good. Uh, Cindy, how long does it take? You know, if you plant it this year, is it good to harvest some next year or do you need to let it sit like asparagus to kind of get established below ground? Um, we always had a chunk of rhubarb 
growing mm-hmm. when I was growing up, but I never saw dad plant it. It'd been like, it's like been every there. Minnesota house, it's been there forever. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised we don't have a chunk. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know how many, if it's like asparagus where you gotta, you gotta have it in there for two years before so you don't hurt yeah. the plant. Um, let's see. Putting in a garden. You know, yeah. if it, Ricky, if you're there once a week and with the deer that I saw on your hunting videos, oh boy, unless you put some big, much of a garden. <laughs> if you put some big fencing in, yeah, you can have it. But uh, you know, if you're not there to tend it, you know, to water it, and it gets dry, or with the animals, it could be yeah. a tough. It could be a tough uh, to to keep it going. Yeah. Got your peas and cabbage starts. Next day was eighty. Yep. Peas are struggling. Out. Ah, that's too bad. You got, got some cattle panels, so you're. I know you're looking to build vertical, so that'll be fun to watch, Don, um, and see that those peas yeah. are going to love that support. It's just how do you keep the chickens away because they're going to want to examine everything. Oh yeah, got to taste <laughs> test everything. Yeah, well, not just taste that, just taste. Yeah. A couple times pulling up more this week. Okay. Okay. Year round. Yeah, you can grow potatoes year round. That's awesome. Although we threw some stuff down into our little compost pile yeah, in the basement. In the worm bin. In the worm bin. And I'm noticing a lot of potatoes. So when I throw that out into the real compost pile and stir it up, we might have some potatoes thrown in there. That'll be mm-hmm. fun. Yeah, you can do them year round. That's it's gotta be fun. Okay, here. Rhubarb is like asparagus. Might take a, okay. Okay. Good to know. Throw it in this year and then leave it alone next year and then the year after. Um, yeah should be all right and we're in okay okay you guys are in 2b i didn't know uh i didn't know that uh i didn't know how that you were 2b i didn't know there were that many mm-hmm. zones in Minnesota. so i thought the furthest north was uh three but uh maybe you're just north of there yeah we're 4b jennifer welcome you doing uh, we're gonna we're gonna i finally got those seeds thank you yes we're doing those hopi squash and they're going to be successful this year, darn it. <laughs> Last year, we got a couple. Just, they were tiny, and they never happened. Yeah. And it was just our summer. We've had two summers in a row that have been drought. So dry. So yes. dry. It's just been a nonstop battle, and we well, would water them. Just, I mean, with as much snow as we got this last winter, it just barely pulled us out of drought status. Yep. Yep. Um, and, yeah. and, you know, we got an inch and a half of really good wet snow today. Mm-hmm. The grass is greening up. Every, we needed this moisture again. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping we get some normal rain. But, yes, Hopis are on the, the agenda. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that will be something Memorial Day weekend, you know, end of May, that we'll get those in. Happens. Luck with squash and tomatoes. Okay. You know, um if you if you can whatever you can make happen make it happen uh yeah. the hard part is just watering if mother nature doesn't doesn't work along uh, you know mm-hmm. with you yep melissa yeah ricky's in the in maybe he's already answered that he is another minnesota boy and and he goes up north uh to another property i think so uh that'd be fun to yeah. there's a lot of minnesota uh touch in here tonight so um oh yeah there you go 65 mm-hmm. miles north of Mille Lacs. So that, that for those of you not in Minnesota, quite, quite up north. So, uh, yeah. Told me to wait a year. I'm really planning. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yep. Two opinions Just say to it. wait and I'm we'll fine doing yeah. that. I want to, you know, good, for good sure. stuff. Yeah. Cause it's, if we get it in with our other fruit this year, then it should all start producing about the same time. Yep. Yep. Look at the sun on the tree. Oh, Sun's coming out here, so uh, yeah, the sunshine that was uh, <laughs> up north with our friends at Gunsmoke, uh, um, Matt and Robin, uh, get some sunshine. We're we're right about at sunset, and on the tree is just glowing now, so it looks good. Tomatoes, strawberries, raspberries, yeah, and mm-hmm. Daz, you've had a hell of a summer with uh, the the rats and mice that have been coming in and just destroying your your crop, especially the fruit yeah. and uh, just watching that i don't know the video maybe a month ago uh that just broke my heart uh just watching that and they're coming in to taste everything um 
So let me mm -hmm. see. My in-laws live in Aiken. Well, Holly's yep. from up near uh, Grand Rapids. Um, yeah. so. Okay, we're 3B. Oh, she's in 2B. Okay, okay. Now I, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up on the on that. <laughs> we have started a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, the yep. video probably showed. We've got some stuff that, um, you know, I'm just wondering who started it, what's come up. Um, we've been pretty good. Yeah, and what was great is we had stuff that was up about an inch or so, and then we had that nice with weather for a week. And put it out. We put and it outside. So they got to be outside. And get a little tested. They really got tested. Yep. Um, someone yeah. was, I was reading about micro vibrations. <laughs> the wind does it and it strengthens the trunk of the, you know, the yep. stem. And uh, we had a lot of wind. We had to actually put up a bit of a wind block. Yeah, to, to knock it down. But this is, what what is this? San Marzano. San Marzano's. And... You know what? That's two healthy plants, nice yeah. thick stems, and uh, they really, uh, being outside, the tomatoes really did well. The peppers came up um, for the most part, uh, whether they're spicy mm -hmm. peppers or our green peppers, yellow, red. Yellow reds, yep. Um, they did good in the wind. The brassicas, yeah. weak, weak stuff. Um, just the stems are never uh, the the strongest to start with, and they're I don't know. Uh, I'm just yeah. they, they get battered a little bit. So um, I threw a couple extra seeds in some of them, um, some other yeah. stuff. When you were going to ask about the cauliflower, anyway. Well, and it, it, something else, just uh, kind of you know, I don't know what everybody's then got planted. Our next step is to actually plant. And yeah. we did plant some stuff. Let me see. Yeah. 200 feet of six foot fencing. I've heard eight foot is needed for deer. I've seen, uh, I used to work uh, late high school into first year of college. I worked uh, summers at a golf course. And I've seen some of our deer on a, a seven foot fence from a, just standing to just leap over the fence. I, I couldn't believe that they did. And they did. Mm -hmm. So um if i hadn't seen it i wouldn't have believed it but yeah hopefully a six foot fence will keep them out it if deer are hungry they'll find it so yep. uh, yuck um okay cochran ontario oh. so that was 2b frost every month of the summer oh wow june 10th to have it late august so you've got a two month growing season 85 days okay yep. almost three months we really have a four month yep. here in our part of 4B, um, and I don't know, you know, Matt and Robin, I don't know what you've got for a growing season up there in your zone, but ours really is somewhere late, late May, I'm gonna say June 1 to October 1. So we got June, July, August, and September. We got mm -hmm. four months of growing season to just pack it in. Um, I don't know, Matt and Robin, I don't know who's, who's on tonight, but if you know what your growing season is, it'd be interesting to see just what the change is there. So that gives us what, 120 days? And Cindy's got 85 days. So what's the in between? You got 100 days up there? I'm just wondering. It's always interesting to know, uh, you know, what's what. Yeah, Melissa, it, this is going to be for the next almost week and a half, I think, till next a week and then to the next Tuesday. It's going to be good chance of frost. And then mm -hmm. highs maybe in the high 40s or mid yeah. 40s to low 50s. So normal. Yeah. Normal, normal stuff for us yeah. uh, with 57 and 35 as our normal high low. Yeah. I think that's where we're going to be. Yuck. I, I'd like that 80 degrees back. Just, <laughs> just give me 80. I don't need 89. 70. Yeah, 70. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, dry things out just yeah. a little bit after trying to grow. Yeah. Paul, I, I, I like your... That's kind of our thing is, uh, and I'm going to try to do a video on maximizing space, how to optimize space for more uh, production out of your garden. Because we're looking to maximize production and not add garden space this mm -hmm. year, not not do a big construction project, expanding the garden since we got the orchard and other stuff. It's how do you maximize what you got? So. Paul, it might be a great video for you. I'd love to hear what you're doing. You know, is it going vertical? Is it putting pots mm -hmm. and packing them in certain spots to add, 
you know, more growing space. You know, what is it? Am I missing something? You're looking. No, you're good. Blowing my tomato starts. You know what, Don? You're going to love it. Uh, how tall are those getting? And the uh, Sweet 100s, have they come up yet? I, I saw the video this morning of all the tomatoes you're starting. You've got a, I don't know, she's got like 10 or 12 different tomato varieties. I mean, nice. you're, you're going to be rocking the tomatoes well, this year. Well, how many do we so have? Fun. We got nine. We've got Between nine varieties. Between the cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We've got... But we've got 40 feet of tunnel. Yeah. So Tomato Alley, uh, we've got quite a bit. So uh, although Don, yeah. you got all those cattle panels. Maybe maybe we're gonna have Don's uh, tomato <laughs> tomato alley out there and keep the chickens yep. go vertical and keep the chickens away that way. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you did put fencing up. Uh, did did maybe get a bunny through the fencing in some way? Um, a lot of with all the snow this year, a lot of trees. Uh, the snow was so deep this year in Minnesota that a lot of trees were killed because they were trimmed at about the three foot mark. The snow mm -hmm. was so deep, the bunnies were up above some of the protection on the trunk and they ate the bark all the oh, way yeah. around and just killed the, the trees. So I, I don't know, did you have any bark removed, Ricky? I just wondered, because yeah. uh, that was something bad. Um, thank you, yes, Gwen. Yes, thanks, Gwen. I appreciate you doing that. So. There. Um, Harvest, harvesting tomatoes now or Samra's on them. There you go. Nice. It all starts with I this. I do really like those. I'm looking at the cherry tomatoes we got downstairs that are about this big. And I know mid-April now, May, June, July, three months from now, you will see me on video pulling down the first cherry tomatoes of the year. <laughs> I will be eating the first cherry tomatoes of the year in three months. Yeah. So. Let's see. I just uh, hope uh, hope everything. Let me see. Mark's in here. Where did I? There it is. Mark's in here. How you doing, Mark? Thanks for uh, jumping in. We're talking gardening. What's uh, what do you get started? What's emerged? What uh, what do you got planted? Um, one question I've got for everybody, um, and I'll and I'll tell you. Let me get caught up on the thing. Then I'll then I'll pose the question. Yeah. Small small lot in the sub suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't, you know what? I always had a huge garden in the suburbs. I was in Eden Prairie for a long time. I had a big garden in the backyard. Yep. And you know what? If you're doing a vegetable garden, I don't think the neighbors are going to bark too much, especially if when you get too many tomatoes and stuff, you kind of do a yeah. little handing around. Yeah. There's not one person in that neighborhood that complained because they knew that I was going to be handing out tomatoes and zucchini and stuff. And then at the end of the summer, um, well, squash and pumpkins. Yeah. Here's one thing I did, and it was fun for me, kind of passing on some knowledge or whatever. Mm -hmm. I would get the tomato or the pumpkin seeds, have all the kids in the neighborhood over, and they would help me plant pumpkins. And then at the end of the year, you know, during the year, if they came over, if they came back over, I'd mm -hmm. show, hey, look at the pumpkins and show them that how they're growing and when the fruit starts. Uh, at the end of the year, they'd all come over and help pick the pumpkins. The First Saturday after the first frost was harvest day, and the kids would come over, and every kid in the neighborhood got a pumpkin. So uh, it was fun. It, it was it was just fun. Kids give them the kids a chance. So I don't know, Melissa. Maybe if you got space, and you're gonna throw down some pumpkins or something. Get the kids in the neighborhood to help you with a certain area, the kids zone or something, and mm -hmm. you never know uh, what it'll. Yeah. yeah. How do you like the San Marzano? Here's someone who'll give you. A... I I like the way that they grow just in the big bunches, almost like a cherry tomato would. Um, and they didn't get big, which was nice for processing. And we've grown um, both San Marzano and the Amish paste. And what was the third? Uh, Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil. And we've got all three of those again this year. Yep. And I liked them all. I really did like them all. There you go. So, I'm going to yeah. test it. San Marzano versus Amish Paste. Wondering which is better. Every one of our sauces was a combination. Yeah. And we, it was. I'd go out and pick whatever was ready at that time. So it was a combination of all three. All three of those. And sometimes some German pink in there, depending on if they were ready to go to. Yep. We, uh, and... Holly made 
um, pizza sauce. Um, just some plain tomato sauce. Um, then I did all the Bloody, Mary, Bloody mix, Mary mix, but some other sauces, yeah. uh, spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. And with those three paste tomatoes, not yeah. a lot of seeds. I hate seedy sauce. Yeah. It was well, I incredible. Well, I did get a processing, processor for the, to get rid of all the skins and the seeds. And that worked before great. Before I turned it, before I put it in the pot to simmer everything down. Hey, we need to do a review of that. Yeah. Just so people know what you used and yeah. give a review of it. Uh, it. It turned out great. We had people over and made pizzas last night and mm -hmm. they were digging the sauce. Yep. I, I love it. it. It's been really good. And the spaghetti mm -hmm. sauce, oh man. Um, Cover with some old blankets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's the one thing. That hey, blues up. Good morning. Thanks for uh, for joining us, Blue. I know it's yep. uh, I don't know three in the morning, something like that. Um, get caught up here. Yeah. Yeah, Daz, you've got some great. Uh, they grow way better than Amish paste. Yeah. They yeah. seem to handle the heat in the water. What was the one that cracked a lot? They're bigger. Is that the? Those the German paste. No, or no, the no, German no. Pa pink German. Nope, not those. The the. The more they got like bigger, those were the Jersey Devils. Jersey Devils cracked more. Yeah, no, but the the San Marzanos seem to handle the heat and the lack of water better. Yes, they didn't crack. They didn't. They're always very good. Okay, how many cattle panels? I'm gonna um, do a review, or I'm gonna do a construction video on that. Well, you said it's forty feet. It's forty feet. So there's ten of them. Oh, there's some overlap. There might be there's 11. Of, it's either 10 or tall, 11 of those. Tall are they? Six feet? No, they're four feet tall. Four feet by 16 foot, okay. I think, are the, the size. We yeah. did overlap them a bit. Just a little bit, though. So to, it wasn't. It's either 10 or 11. Um, I'm going to do a video on that just because yeah. we've had a lot of people ask about the tomato alley. Um, use rebar to put them in the ground. Or something that you can put the ends of the cattle panels up to. We use rebar because we want to be able to use both sides. Well, we put rebar also uh, to get it to get the rebar a couple a foot or so in the ground and a little bit above to adhere to, because we do get some, some good, good winds, winds up here. Yeah. And if you anybody's seen our videos of Tomato Alley, it's it's about seven feet tall at the peak using sixteen foot cattle panels. When you get all the tomatoes growing on that, and it's a big wind, it does. It starts rocking. <laughs> it, rocks. it really moves. Yeah. Um, and so you need, at least we needed to because of the, the wind, we needed to really adhere that to the ground or I think she would just kind of, the yeah. potential of, of letting loose. So scared the heck out of me. There you go. <laughs> Gwen, you don't do anything small. I mean, you just, <laughs> uh, and you got six inches of rain. Did your... I know the peas were having some tough days. Did did you recover um, from all that? Parents are here for the weekend, Bye. so late breakfast. Thanks, Daz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good. Have a good week now that it's Monday morning. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. Yeah, I must be so far behind in the thing there. Dawn's got three types that are up. Super 100s. Yeah, they did take a while. Yeah. Um, oh, who said black? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good. God, those are so. I am, I am eagerly awaiting. I'm eagerly. Uh, nothing else do I want to taste more than those yeah. black cherry tomatoes again. I want to try those chocolate pear ones that we got seeds for. Yep. Those sound interesting. And I don't know what. Here's all the seeds we planted. What it was. It see been, if you can find what yeah. it's officially called um, and where we got it. Nothing planned. I'm still working on rebuilding. Oh, that's right. Yep. After the fire, how how is the the rebuild going? I mean, are you are you getting uh, are you making progress? I should ask that uh, so we know. There it is. Last too one. many tomatoes. Never heard of too many. <laughs> so it's from seeds, seeds, seeds and, and such. such. Turn it around, see if you can, or if, I don't know if it'll bleach out. Yeah, it's it it oh, it too bad. Yeah. Uh, read what. But it was actually we ordered. That's where I get my read the um, number. I will. That's where I get my um, cabbage from and a couple of my other cherry, or like my San Marzano seeds from that they turned out really good. And this was actually a free one that they sent us. 
So it said item number 002 00, tomato chocolate pear. So they were. Packet, the one thing is actually the germination on those was great. Yeah. Because it's a packet of five seeds. They're, they're not throwing a ton of seeds at you. No, but I think but all free. five of them came. Oh, that was the addition? That was the free oh, ones, okay. yeah. Maybe that's why there's not so many yeah, seeds in there. Exactly. If you bought, bought it regular, um, they all came up. So 100%. Uh, yeah. They, it said on their guaranteed 80% germination. Hmm. So, or better. That's too bad, Melissa. Jeez. Well, when the when their hearts over with uh, yeah. with vegetables, vegetables should always do it. Yeah. Better. Okay, blue. Let's see. So yep. raw. I don't eat raw tomatoes. Oh, I don't. Other than cherries. Yeah. Whole canning of sauces. Yeah. I, I don't know. We mixed them all together, yeah. and it turned out just fantastic. Yeah. Um, May fifteenth. Okay, so you got three months. We got four months. You've got three months. You like? Uh, well, you got May fifteenth. Yeah, we're probably yeah. May 15th, too. I, I always round it to June 1st. Um, so I guess you do have uh, you do have they're about kind of, the same. Very similar, you're, you're very yeah. similar to what we've got. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for cow. You know, we got cattle panels at, was it Fleet Farm? Fleet Farm. Fleet Farm. And they, yeah. last year, they were either 28 or 33. I thought, no, I thought they were like 18. Uh, no, no. Okay. I think uh, 28 rings in my mind. Now uh, we bought them, and then everything seemed to go up in price. So I don't know what they are, Melissa. I want to get some more. We bought 20 mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. And used. I think I've got three or four left um, that are unused. So I, I want to get some more. I'd like to do another tunnel for yeah. for squash and such. Um, and Gwen said tractor or TSC is that tractor supply? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You retract. We're, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are times where yes, I'd love a retractable roof. One to keep the heat down a little bit. Another keep yep. the wind out. Keep the. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Fire cleanup. Long way to go. Oh, mm. dude. Let us know. Uh, I don't know how we can how we yeah. can help, but uh, let us know. Man, that's that's awful. I've, I've thought of that. So here you go. Grown zucchinis, peas, tomatoes, spinach, carrots, or 10 nice. different fruit trees and eggs. Yep. From the girls. You got a lot of stuff going there. Yeah, we're adding um, mm -hmm. herbs this year. Yep. Um, one, okay, my question. Now that I'm caught up on this, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I think uh, when we did go to Flea Farm, there was a lot of cattle pounds. I mean, they had yeah, they hundreds had of them of stacked up. Yeah. But, so that, and that's only what was on the ground. I'm sure they had another rack of them up. Yep. They were bringing them out and they're wired together and all. Yeah. Here's my question. Um, when you're planting stuff and you're thinking back on the history of your garden and all, what's working and what's not? Um, just I only bring that up because really having a tough time getting the seeds going cauliflower yes and then once they get going um we never have good luck with cauliflower yeah. maybe that's our climate maybe it's that you know we go from cold to you know we go from a very light spring to summer and it's all on and it just doesn't yeah cauliflower just doesn't do well for us here on our farm and i don't know why everything else seems mm -hmm. to be okay to really good yeah i don't know if anybody's got any tips that's what i was looking if we want to ask some questions of each other there's a lot of experience here in the in the crowd tonight um if you got any cauliflower experience because i'm racking my brain I, yep we just can't make that work uh for some reason so and i that broccoli's done good. We've we've had some really yeah, good. Even, uh, I mean, even last year when it bolted, it still gave plenty gave of us, good heads. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're trying. You know, I talked about trying to expand our production this year. We are moving from having two families in our CSA to four. Yeah. So we're adding um, a lot of different things. Um, so let me see. Mm -hmm. Cream peas are not doing well. Oh, no. 
when we plant black eyed peas. And I think you did have really good success with black eyed peas. I, I've never grown black eyed peas. It's just not something that I even grew up with. You know, it's yeah. more of a Southern thing, I think. Um, so Dawn, thanks for uh, jumping in. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, your last video on the Ridge, you have got an incredible view from your place. I've always thought that, but she did a video up on the hill after bringing water back. I think it was. You have got a view. Uh, unreal. So uh, I'm a ham radio operator. It's my, my geek hobby. Mm -hmm. I like when you've got a big vista and you can see in all directions. I would love to put up a big tower with antennas on your hill. Man, I'd be that'd be yeah. killer. <laughs> I look. Um, yeah. Turns white when it's ripe. There you go. <laughs> well, okay. Now we got it solved. Thank you, Ricky. Yeah, yeah. No, we got some even that were a different variety, the purple variety. Yeah, and, and it's still just. It, yeah, it, it almost like got moldy before we could get before it grew and got big enough to pick. It just. It just hasn't worked. Yeah. So, uh, oh, here we go. Having trouble with radishes. You know what? Uh, we... I have never grown radishes, and we grew two crops of radishes last year. Yeah. And I have the seeds here. Oh, what I don't. Oh, I do. Yeah. Um, they're from Livingston Seeds. Cherry Cher Bell. Cherry Bell. B E L L E. And these. We we didn't do well when we tried to do it in the garden because our soil is so hard. But last year we did it in the raised beds and they turned out great. So they do need that softer soil. A little looser soil. And I'm not a radish guy at all, Tom. So yeah. uh, to be honest, I just have but, never grown them. She is. Yeah. And I tried them and some of the others that like radishes that got them in our CSAs said that they were absolutely the best. So we just made sure to water them and yeah, we had two crops uh, mm -hmm. did the spring spring grouping yeah. and the like how I said they're the, quick to grow. So yeah, I don't know. Do you have the tape? Livingston uh, seed tape. Do we have, yeah. Oh yeah, we got another set here. So we got um, sparkler, uh, a burpee. If I hold it at an mm -hmm. angle, burpee. Um, sparkler is the yeah. type. So I kind of like these seed tapes. Especially mm -hmm. for carrots or something, you know, dig just deep enough to get it under the soil, lay yep. the tape down. Mm -hmm. Nothing works, but this um, cherry bell, about three quarters yeah. of an inch across. These are not huge, but everybody loved the flavor. Yeah. So we're going to grow them again. They grow quick. They're only 25 days. Yeah, this is 22. Yeah. 22 days because we were in late mm -hmm. August and we planted them and had weeks worth of production yeah. into October for our CSA. This was mm -hmm. one of the last things that. They went. I've still got seeds left, so yeah, you could get a couple plantings, Tom, with uh, with that. Um, and the people love the flavor. I'm still not a radish guy, but the people who who liked it. So yeah, door trim behind y'all next. <laughs> yeah, yep. we're we're split screen tonight. We're, we'll work out something. We got to get yeah. a better better backdrop. Something that just says old Swedes farmer. This summer, I do want to do a live from out in the garden when we get enough light mm -hmm. or um, sitting outside in the yeah. yard. My BFF wants to put a CB tower. No, 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 no CB. Let's get him into real radio. Get him into ham radio. <laughs> Have him contact me. So, uh, you know, we'll make it happen. Uh, let's buy fairy morse seeds. Don't or don't. Buy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't buy. They're junk. Yeah. I I don't know if I've ever run across them. I've What's, seen them, but you, yeah, I mean, like I said, we've gotten from it's that Livingston and Burpee is kind of big up here. Yep. And then like I said, I've ordered from seeds and such, and they have been great. And like I said, they even gave me yes. some samples. So seed tape is nice. Yeah, seeds yeah. and such. The the quality of the seeds from seeds yeah. and such has been really good when, when we've yep. been planting. Usually I plant, I do a lot of planting ahead of yeah. time in the pots. The germination has been really good. Yep. All loves radishes too. And they've got a guarantee on it, but yeah, they said that they should at and least be an 80% germination. So yeah, they've beets. all been really good. We had people over last night and yeah. they were talking about beets. <laughs> I was like, ugh, I just don't flip them over. Keep that side yeah. up. That's yeah. where I opened up. Yeah, I don't want I seeds it. dumping out. No, um, yeah, beets. Yuck. Just not not a huge. I, I'm just I grew not up a... eating my grandma's pickled beets, but that's about it. 
Oh. <laughs> I've heard of coated seeds, seed tape. Yeah, it's these little rolls, and you just roll it out. It's like it's uh, almost like a tissue paper. It is two levels with, of two layers with the seeds in between, spaced perfectly. So you just lay the tape out, cover, cover it up, covered over water, and you're done. Instead yeah. of having all those little carrot seeds, you're trying to get one, and you drop four, and then nothing. Yeah. And the seed tape, Melissa, is it's right on. Uh, yeah. It's right on. And it holds the seeds in place too until. Yeah, so you don't water yeah. them and they shift around. It it really, we've done it. It's been really good. Mm -hmm. um, made my soil. Yeah. If you can find a raised area, or you know what, you could even get a good sized pot. You know, a long yeah. pot and put a. You could put a couple of rows in there right near each other with you know three four inch spacing. Uh, it's an above ground. Or, or, just, or barely. just barely. It's just barely. It needs a softer soil. So yep. yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, here we. Go. <laughs> ah, I, <laughs> I, I don't know, Xander. I'm, I'm. I'm. Okay. I probably like stuff. It depends that on what you grew up with, too. Yeah. So. Uh, pickled yeah. beans for breakfast. Ooh. It, I can okay, see that. I've never had pickled yeah. beans, so I shouldn't say that. It's just the thought of those red. Beets. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oof. That just is not not good. Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss? Yeah. Soil. They grow good. Just no radish bulb on the bottom. Yeah, then that's the soil. It just can't because it need, it wants to go down and put that root down. And it's too too packed, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Grew, grew up with everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One by one. Four by yeah. Took forever. Last fall, I just kind of scattered. I, I've seen people do that. Yeah. They, they've got a raised bed and it's windy from this direction. They just stand and they go poof. And just, I, I just saw somebody do that too and they called them their chaos carrots. There you go. <laughs> and because it works. Chaos I throw it and then a couple of weeks later, I throw more out. So I've constantly got a you did. cycle. Okay. What okay. are these? Here's all these chaos I'm gardens. Right. Darn it. I said keep them straight. <laughs> I have my system and she's dumping seeds now. Sorry. Uh, well, hopefully you didn't combine them. No. I'm keeping those no, away I from you. I think I know what it was. It was chaos. It was your chaos <laughs> garden right here. <laughs> yeah, I saw that once. Uh, someone filmed it and then I never saw the end of it. I just wonder what, uh, how it ended up. But it looked yeah. like they scattered perfectly in the breeze. So it would be kind of fun to see what it was. Mm -hmm. My mom bought canned pickled beet. Yeah, I, you know, when you're a kid, if it's a green vegetable, you don't want to try it. Um, yeah. I don't know. The red kind of threw me off too. So, yeah, I've tried them. Still a no. Okay. Yeah. Then, well, well and here we go. My grandma was really good with her canning and she had a big garden and was very good with all of that. So, her, I was spoiled. Her pickled beets were amazing. Oh, so you have had them. I have had them, yeah. Oh. All right. Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We went over to some friends and had, uh, they, they said, you know what? We heard you you made some Bloody Mary mix. Oh, yeah. And can you bring over? Yeah. So we brought so we over. did a brunch with them. and Most of the Bloody Mary, we brought up, we made a Bloody Mary bar. Yeah. Most of it was from the garden. Yeah. The thick mix bloody mary mix was all from the garden yeah the vodka obviously we don't distill our own stuff but the vodka was infused with, with um, jalapenos, from, jalapenos our from our garden so it had a little kick to it yeah pickled asparagus and pickles regular pickles. pickles what else oh uh, pepperoncini spicy peppers we had a bunch it? of stuff yeah. it was really fun to do all the everything from yeah. the garden and i forgot to bring pickled eggs and we could have the asparagus, the pickled asparagus that we brought. <laughs> Everybody loved it. Oh my God, it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. So, uh, beets are green. Wait, wait, someone said beets are purple. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it might be a different variety. Okay. But okay. yeah, everyone I've had was the dark red, purple. <laughs> Give them a try before you banish all beets. Okay, M Melissa, I, I will. Yeah. I, I will try them. I, I am, I have no problem trying stuff. Um, but when I don't like something, I don't like some. I'm done yeah. with it. Yeah. Dad's 88 still gardening. You know what? I think I'm hoping that's going to get me into my 80s and 90s is getting mm -hmm. out in the garden. There is 
something therapeutic yep. about gardening. And I know we hate um, weeding. What I would do when I was in Eden Prairie, in one of the suburbs, my daughter had a couple of hula hoops. And I would go out. I did not try to tackle the world and try to mm -hmm. weed the whole garden. I'd go out there after a long day at work and I'd put two hula hoops down in the garden. And all I would do is weed those hula hoops. I I was the master of those two <laughs> three foot areas. I got them clean, and then the next night I'd move them somewhere else. And over several weeks, you cleaned out yep. the garden, and yep. you, yes. I didn't need to tackle the whole thing. Nope. Because uh, sometimes you feel like you got to tackle the whole world. Yeah. Uh, especially with weeds. Oh man! But eighty eight. Uh, that's just still reminds me. My dad would be what ninety four now or something. Dad passed away a couple years ago, and thus the name of the farm. But he instilled that love of gardening on me and i am so mm -hmm. grateful that he took time and got my hands dirty yeah. i i love this hobby slash obsession <laughs> of gardening we wouldn't be out on the farm if he hadn't nope. done that so nope. uh so much so i'm glad your your dad's still around 88 enjoy uh some time with him uh, out in yeah. the garden because it is i would kill for mm -hmm. uh, a, a, an afternoon out in the garden so Getting choked up. Got a, <laughs> all right, let's get on. Let's get back to beats. I don't get yes. too choked up. Yes. About that. Need loose. Yep. Yeah, that's our. That was our problem, and that's why we got the raised beds. The biggest reason was because our ground has got so much clay. And that those raised beds for the onions, the potatoes, especially potatoes, mm -hmm. carrots. We had carrots that were straight last year. <laughs> not not that big gnarly. You know. Stop. Kept trying to put down, find a. Oh man. Yeah. Scott, they have Ooh. baked beans on every breakfast. Yep. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, it, the slight, big the slice of tomato. Fried tomato and. Yep. So fried cooks, tomato, yep. baked beans. You gotta have an egg. You gotta. Yep. Some toast. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've done that too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's amazing. Uh, uh, the the British uh, what is it a, a full full breakfast full British full English full English something yeah. like that uh, here we go yeah harvesting ten kilo Ooh. all right Paul I I'm I'm That's totally awesome. an American ten kilograms how many pounds does that equal do you, do you know is there a way you could convert uh, that oh, for yeah. me and just Trying to put that in perspective because I'm setting goals too, and I, I love hearing others' goals and then kind of how they. Or you got a converter on your phone? Uh, oh, here we go. Hubby's granny garden until she was almost a hundred, lived to 102. That's the secret right there. You get out in the garden, you're gonna live long, probably because you're eating healthier food, no chemicals in it. You know, uh, I believe that stuff. Uh, there. 22 pounds a month. That's doable. That's doable. Yeah. And you're not growing pumpkins and stuff. That so you know some of those mm -hmm. weigh a lot. You're if you're growing regular yeah. crops, you're growing a lot of produce to get 22 pounds or the 10. But that's awesome. 10 yeah. Kilograms. Uh, 22 what? pounds. That's a lot of produce when it's all mm -hmm. the little cukes and peas and lettuce and stuff. Uh, yeah. The tomatoes can add some weight in there and. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. She was still driving 97. That is scary. <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. Uh, we, we helped take the, help my parents make the decision to decide to not drive. Uh, that was the best decision they made. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Cause that, that's scary as heck. Oh man. Um, yes. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> there you go. Okay, 22 pounds. Whoops. Yep. Yeah, 22 pounds. Yeah. Um, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, that's a lot of... Um, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Here's the queen of Google. <laughs> my God, I'll, I'll ask a question. I won't have the question even out of my mouth, and she's already got the answer Googled. So, um, it, yeah, that's a lot. Paul, that's a lot of edgies to pull that's out. That's awesome. We did, not, not including... Our garden is 0.29 acres yep. of usable space, 
and not counting the squash and pumpkins, those heavyweight items, we did 2,900 pounds. So 2,900 pounds and 0.29, it makes it easy for the conversion for me. So it's like, how can I, how can we ratchet that up a notch? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, mm -hmm. how can we take it to a different level? Um, and I've got a few ideas, so we'll see what, uh, had to ask mm -hmm. the DPS send the letter to say she could, oh yeah, that way it wasn't mad at any of us. I just, you know, I, I came, well, yeah, I came up with a good strategy and I just asked my parents, uh, because they were both old, uh, and couldn't really, you know, turn their neck to look in mm -hmm. mirrors and stuff. And I just said, asked them what their end game was. What's, what's your end game for finishing driving? And they, they kind of looked at me. I said, my gut feel is you're going to drive until you kill someone or you kill yourself. And that made him think. Um, and I think my dad already knew that they should give up driving. My mom, then it took her part of that day and she decided. But I think when you put it in terms like that, because um, I said, you know, hey, I want you to be around, you know, I want you to see mm -hmm. your great grandchildren. You start talking like that, that, that really helped them. They can't be mad at me because I want them to see their great grandchildren, you know, <laughs> um, but they did give it up. Um, and it was, it is quite a change. I can't imagine me giving up driving, you know. It, uh, it is. It's a, especially when you've been driving since you were a teenager. Yeah. And you've had yeah. that freedom. Yeah. So uh, you don't think you'll get the garden up north this year. I'll throw something in there. Throw a couple of tomatoes out somewhere and see so you got something on the weekends. Uh, yeah. um, so you got some of that. Just trying to, uh, there we go. South Texas well, cattle well. and hey, I'm sorry. And we've, we've talked, you've been <laughs> on here before. I forgot your name. Throw, throw your name down below. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Uh, but thank you for yeah. joining us. I really appreciate you jumping in. Got a lot. Uh, we're talking gardening tonight and, and also taking keys away from our parents. So, yep, yep. yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, Ricky. Yeah, you're going to have to stop by. For uh, sure. Uh, you know what? If you're going to wait, wait till like mid July, Ricky, and then there'll be stuff in the garden. You can you can walk out of here with some <laughs> some eggs and some produce and <laughs> have something to take up, yep. uh, take up north. Yeah, we would love to have you down, Ricky. Let us know when you'd like to come down. Come on down. Love for mm -hmm. you to see the place and uh, love to meet you in person. Enough local transportation. Yeah. That was my thing. My parents lived in a, a very nice uh, senior high rise, a uh, little co op, but it was everything was, uh, most of the stuff was far enough away where they, they needed to drive to get to yeah. whatever it was. Doctors, groceries. Yep, yeah, that stuff. So yeah, that's a that's a hard thing. Mm -hmm. um, thank God nothing ever happened. No mm -hmm. accidents, stuff, and now yeah. my mom doesn't need everything's contained in her building right now. So um, I left that to the others. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Mom hit ninety three. Yeah, it was time. It, it really is. It, you'd never want something, uh, Luis. Uh, yep. Geez, uh, you don't want something to happen. No. Uh, that was my That's fear. True. Was you know, because um, a friend of mine um, and neighbor, her parents, um, her dad fell asleep as an elderly mm. man, hit someone and killed him, and yeah. they. Uh, well, and that was part of my thing because I explained to my parents what happened to this friend, their parents. You know what the the gentleman who was killed on the road his family sued and took you know all their retirement money they sued him for everything they had the the gentleman ended up dying in mm -hmm. prison while the mom had to live with the kids all because of that yeah. one accident it's like oh yeah. man uh it's just it, well it could happen yeah. to anybody but okay it's yeah. it's scary um, yep, Gwen's got it. <laughs> what is it. Doctors, grocery, and pharmacy, and church. Yep, it is. Yeah, that, that you get yeah. into a, a get into a rhythm and and do that. So I'm hoping we got enough veggies out here when I'm. I was gonna say when I'm old. When I'm older, <laughs> um, we'll have a we'll be self sustaining. Yeah, can can keep it going here. I'll have to go to town once a month for a chicken food or something. Mm -hmm. 
half yeah. folder license. Okay. Yeah, there was li oh. yeah. a little late. She kept running stop signs. Yeah. Didn't see mm -hmm. them. It's like, like watching the TV show, The Goldbergs. They always <laughs> run this, one stop sign on the road. They're always running no matter who it is. Um, trying to think of what uh, uh, something else, just a question for everybody. Is anybody growing something just for fun, trying mm -hmm. something new? And we did. We, uh, we're we kind of in the local beer scene here, the craft beer scene. And yep. a few of our friends went over to the Czech Republic and they've got well, good a lot of beers there yeah, and in I, Germany. Weren't they there during um October Fest? But they had yep. German beer radishes. And I guess it's a certain radish, and they would cut it, they would spiralize it. it, um, and then eat it while mm -hmm. drinking, drinking beer. beer. So I'm like, well, that sounds fun. I've never well, we finally Went to Reamer, Reamer, well, Reamer Seeds, yeah. R E I M E R Seeds, and we have German beer radishes. Yep. From Germany. We're going to, yeah, the seeds are from Germany. We're going to grow some German beer radishes. Never had one, yep. but it's like, you know what? This fall, we're going to have Oktoberfest out here. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to eat German beer radishes yep. spiralized. Yeah. They are buying a spiralizer. Mm hmm. So, uh, and we're going to do it. Between so that and homemade sauerkraut. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, if we yeah. get our, uh, the cabbage going good and we can make sauerkraut, get some great sausage and do the Americanized mm -hmm. version of Oktoberfest. <laughs> and, uh, Hey Barb, welcome. We're talking about, uh, gardening tonight. You know, what are you planting? What's coming up? And I was reminding everybody that you've, uh, You've already been harvesting and processing. Uh, mm -hmm. Unreal what you've already pulled out there. Oh, there you yeah. go. Artichokes. I have never grown an artichoke. I wouldn't know. Well, that's part of the fun of, yeah. of doing something new. I was going to say, I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue. So uh, trying flowers this year. I am also restarting. Um, when I, had, when I was in the suburbs, we looked back onto a pond and I had a huge area that was all native, all native grasses, flowers. It was a huge native flower, native area, like a prairie. And uh, I'm going to put one out here to, we'll watch for the video coming up. The Ma, uh, Milkweed for Monarchs program is going on year two. So, um and I think Barb's already had monarch caterpillars down there in mm -hmm. one of her videos. They look great. So we're gonna we're gonna be planting some native. Well, we have planted some native flowers, yeah. and they're already coming up. So I got some little little milkweed already growing. So it's great. Yep. Yeah, beer radishes. I I, I can't wait to see. I don't even know what they're gonna yeah. look like. I, I've kind of seen they're like white and chunkier yeah. and yeah, longer. Yeah, we'll see. And... These look like they were brown, but. Then you peeled them the and brown. Then, okay. spiral, then they were white on the inside. Okay. I so, saw the white part. Yeah. Hey, Betsy, how are you doing? Betsy, you you said in one of my videos, uh, you know, Rich, you complain about the weather all the time, <laughs> which I do. I freely admitted yep, that. And Liz, what's your yeah. next question is? Oh, <laughs> here we go. Yes, it was today. Uh, early in the program, yep. we were yeah. we were barking about the we were barking about the the weather. So. Uh, I, I mentioned you early on, so oh, it's good. It's just yep. ugly with the <laughs> what up here. It, yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me read Ricky. Okay. The colder climates. Okay. Yep. An air. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like the bulb. So you can is, eat the leaves or the what comes out, yep. and then the heart too is. That's the artichoke. Okay. Yeah. So much snow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, there's. Uh, yeah. I think we're all this morning and saw the white out there, and it was uh, snowing. It was almost a whiteout. We went down to the town just south of us to grab some stuff today, and it was blowing with the wind and the snow. It was blowing sideways. It was yep. just. But with the warm weather we had, the roads were all clear because they were still warm. So yeah, it was fine yeah. to drive, but uh, hundred frost free days. Okay. Well, we could do that. So either start. Yep. Purchase. Well, yeah, we could start yeah. seeds and then get them outside. Yep. Well, we're doing. Um, well, 
Who, who said they were doing artichokes? Um, was it Xander? Xavier. Was it? Let me look here. Yeah. Okay. It, whoever's doing it, it keep mm -hmm. us keep us informed. Uh, it's always fun to hear on on new things. But the the beer radish sounded fun, and it's like, yep. why not? Well, we're doing um, napa cabbage for yeah, the first time. We've never done that because I, I do want to. We want to, mm -hmm. but make kimchi. Yep. I want to do some kimchi. I want to see how do you do it. You know, how spicy can it be? I've kind of mm -hmm. watched a few videos I've watched on TV where they're making it. It's like, we should see what peppers go in that and grow them. There you go. We've got yeah. time. Uh, yep. just, I don't know if anybody's grown Napa cabbage and made their own kimchi. If you've got a suggestion on, um, you know, what pepper to use along with it, I was just thinking like a jalapeno, but maybe that's not the right yeah. type of really spice. So, look up. Um, yeah, there. You need a hundred days. Oh my God! Here it is. Rub it in. Well, you Rub. could probably keep it as a perennial. That's what I said. It's a, in Minnesota. It's grown as an annual, just because of the weather. She could probably keep it going. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. There's something for you, Gwen. See what yeah. uh, you can do. Um, yeah, German beer radish. It, it does sound. It sounds fun. So, um, mm -hmm. and that's one I gotta protect with everything because it it involves you know at the end of the year a little celebration so yeah i'm just trying to think of what yeah kimchi is going to be fun or making it the napa and all those you know we've got everything in rows of 18 so we've got the 18 pots in our tray all 18 came up so mm -hmm. it's like okay now we're, we're doing okay yeah um wait, 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 i missed uh what did you miss? I don't know. I've said yeah. so much. But, no, and it but, might have been a comment. Oh, too. oh, Betsy. Yeah, what did you miss? I, I was complaining about the weather, how it was so cold and so warm mm -hmm. and so cold. And there's so much. Okay. Korean red pepper for kimchi. Okay. okay. Is there a is there a specific, is it called Korean red pepper or is it is there a Korean um uh, is there a Korean pepper? 805 Barbecue Junkie, thank you so much. Okay. Or hey, man, if anybody wants to, there's there's you know, there's some darn good barbecue channels out there. Check out Jorge's channel. Seriously, there's some great barbecue going on. Um, there's some great barbecue going on there. I can't watch one of your videos without just drooling, just the way you present uh, the food. Whether it's a sand, barbecued sandwich uh, on the rotisserie, mm -hmm. and, and finally got warm here, and it was so windy, yeah. I couldn't stoke up the grill, and it was just so windy. I can't wait to get out on some things on the on the big green egg. So thank you, yeah. really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you stopped by, but please check out Jorge's channel if anybody wants to just find a great idea for barbecue takes a lot of simple ingredients and makes some absolutely fabulous, like some sandwiches that are just, <laughs> there's a few barbecue channels I subscribe to, yeah. I think three. This is a great channel. So thank you again for stopping by. Um, appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. I've never seen art. I've, I've never seen artichoke seeds to buy that, you know, and maybe because yeah. our season is so short that. Well, and, but or, you might be able to find them online because the tomatoes again that I, wanted to plant the San Marzano's the I couldn't find in store so look at what I said about Oktoberfest oh uh -oh. it was the um how they celebrate in September oh yeah in yep. Minnesota and we do it in October well yeah, yeah I think that's just America does it yeah uh, Oktoberfest yeah, is, is in September, September for sure yep. um family what's kimchi I can't find the fish mm -hmm. sauce can't, can't stand I can't, it. With, can't the do it with fish sauce in okay. there. Okay. Uh, is there fish yeah. sauce in kimchi? Yeah. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay. And the, actually, but I, there's like a ton of yeah. garlic. There's the the napa. There's the peppers, and then you dip daikon, that. carrot, um, scallions. Yeah. Look at and that! You already googled already, it. By the time. Yeah, <laughs> garlic, ginger, onion, fish sauce, fermented salted shrimp. Yep. So. That's yeah. one recipe. Check anyway. out the 805 Barbecue Junkie. For sure. 
Any spicy red pepper. Okay. If you yeah. find that there is a certain, what did this it say? Says, what? This says just red pepper flakes. Oh, okay. So, but depends on, I suppose, how spicy you want it. Yeah. You're doing your live. Thank you. For, okay. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. If we're done, I'll, I'll jump over there. Um, there you go. Pulled pork. Uh, mm. some, of these, some of these guys in the barbecue channel, they make it seem so simple. They're doing something that is just, you know, like a big pork butt or something mm -hmm. that really takes some skill. To, and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll put it on. We'll do this. Blah, 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 done. And it's just absolutely, you know, fall apart. Um, yeah. Some that don't do well in kimchi. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just need to find, we'll find out what what is the right. Mm -hmm. um, I'll see if I can find a good, what looks like a good recipe. And Yeah, it'd be yeah. good. And well, here you go, Holly. I almost call you Molly. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Um, what is fish sauce? You want to go get it and see what the... I think it's just like... Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, fermented fish. Fermented fish. Yep. I made... So basically, it's li like chicken broth, but made out of fish. Really? Yeah, kind of. Makes kimchi. Uh, is it too hot? Is there too much... Um, I I thought mm -hmm. the, the fish sauce comes in a very similar bottle to soy sauce. Yeah, do you and want to go grab one it? One time, sure. One time I, I want to put some soy sauce on <laughs> and I put fish sauce on instead. Whew, that is totally different. Um yeah, Barb, what what makes it uh pulled pork sliders last night? 170. Holy. Okay, hon, here we go. Melissa's got it. Go, gochugaru is the type yep. of pepper. Okay. Gochugaru. So there's the the spelling. If you wanna write okay. that down, it's delicious. And Holly does uh, Holly does a lot of Asian cooking and soups and mm -hmm. stuff. So we do use fish sauce yeah. quite a bit. So yeah, it just says anchovy extract, salt, and sugar. Here, what is it? Anchovy extract, salt, and sugar. Yep. It contains fish. So it's a very fishy, very. Yeah, that's well. <laughs> that's uh, not a great smell. Uh, but it it adds a oh, great flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It, yeah. There's a, a bunch of it. It does add a diff, whole different yeah. ingredient. Or like, a, is that umami, that meaty almost. The umami. Yeah. That's the right. Uh, yeah. sm <laughs> 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 it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> it was not great, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not. Yeah. You know what? I. I I'm not opposed to anchovies. Uh, no, I've had them uh, on salads and stuff, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I really am. And yeah, thanks, Barb. So, okay, did you write? Oh, you got the pepper yep. written down. Good. I, I, after the success we had with the sauerkraut last year, mm -hmm. fermenting that, yeah, and we've got the. Big, I'm fired up <laughs> for making sauerkraut, uh, fermented sauerkraut, not yep. just canning it, um, and then fermenting this kimchi. Yep. It's something and new. And we've got the the lids for the mason jars too, the pickle. Yep. I just want a big for fermenting. So yeah. Sounds like we need yeah. an old Swedes farm cookout. Yes, we do, John. Yes, we do. <laughs> get your uh, get your tail up here and uh, let's get some stuff going. Um, there you go, Barb. Mm -hmm. A little sauerkraut. Uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe we'll do a live and do a little cookout. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for, you know, some of the stuff. I don't know when we started lives. Was it last summer or was it? I don't remember. Late summer? I don't remember. But I think we were done fermenting. Yeah, we were. It would be fun to, you know, a little show and tell is always fun. You know, hey, here's yeah. here's how the sauerkraut's looking and some of that. I just love trying stuff. And when it works out, mm -hmm. you know, I had done sauerkraut once before and then this time. And it worked out. And it's like, oh. Um, I love that. That's yeah. where kimchi, I love fermented stuff, yeah. making beer. We made wine, mm -hmm. anything that's fermented that, you know, 
you're taking stuff that's in the air and all of a sudden it changes your food and yep. I'm all I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. Fermenting lids. Yeah. I've got a two of those and then the um the glass weights to keep yep. things. Yeah. Dividing and repotting onion seedlings. There you go. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's strange. Hey, if you wanna it works. If you're getting closer to the garden, Betsy. Well, if you've got our onion seedlings, they're they're up and moving. They're well, upside. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, hopefully we can get some weather to get them outside uh, you know, on a regular basis. Yeah. We were like I said, we were gonna try to put in peas, and then I just thought with the moisture and the cold coming, they're just gonna rot in the ground. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you know, use the, the old school yep. went in the ground. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, put the, the pot. Uh, put it in a pot and bury yep, it. Ceramic pot and then in the ground. Put it in the ground and let it uh, do it. So, and just let it yep. breathe in there, and the the other air couldn't get back in. So, mm -hmm. um, sauerkraut. Uh, we just had so much fun, Cindy. We we've got a a video from last summer on our our sauerkraut, and we just put it in a big jar. Five pounds was it? Five pounds of both that, yeah. Of uh, cabbage. Yep. And uh, three cups of salt, kept mm -hmm. mashing it and mashing it till the water came out and was yep. higher than the Yep. So then the it's cabbage. all submerged in that brine. And then to keep it weighted down, we put some cabbage leaves, uh, wash them. To help seal the edges. Put that down and then put a baggie of uh, saline water. A gallon water bag of saline water in there just to top. keep the weight. Keep the yep. stuff down in the... So that no mm -hmm. air could get it. And we did have a tiny, tiny little piece of mold or bacteria yeah. around the edge. Scoop that out with a spoon. Otherwise, it, it was, was perfect. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, have a good night, Ricky. He's Ricky's jumping out. out. Yeah. Right there. There you go. Yep. Have yeah. a good week, Ricky. Thank you for uh, joining us. Keep us posted on that apple tree. I'd like to hear how that, uh, yeah. how that works out. Can't. This Can't. Oh, you can can yeah. you sauerkraut this year because it lasts longer. Yeah. Yeah, it, you're right. Although having them side by side, we had one batch of canned sauerkraut that turned out bad. Mm -hmm. And it, oh my God, we knocked the lid off it and it was like ammonia. Yeah, so that went, good. that that was thrown out immediately. Yeah. And then, but then we had one batch, it was good. And it was good sauerkraut, yeah. but the fermented stuff, top and notch. We've kept it in its brine in the, in fridge. the fridge and it's been good for yeah. pushing nine months now yeah so probably about time to finish it off but yeah we gotta get the grill going get some <laughs> get some stuff out on the grill and then i i yep. am not opposed to we also made uh, relish that uh cucumber mm -hmm. and the jalapeno jal pickle relish oh and it's it's lights out if anybody loves loves relish send us a note we'll uh we'll talk mm -hmm. we'll set you up yeah um it's got just that right amount of heat where it's not too much but adds a great little kick let's see yeah cindy's never tried sauerkraut yeah. cindy there That's it is everybody's. Right here. <laughs> what <laughs> what did you brought to yeah. it yeah i yep uh, you know what and i used to be an ad before this relish, you know, mm -hmm. you get a hot dog and I would just slather on some spicy mustard. Now it's like, I either want our homemade sauerkraut mm -hmm. on it or a homemade relish. That yeah, relish. Yeah, I've always been kraut on my dogs anyway, but. I can't get enough of that amazing. relish. It yeah. was so good. So uh, <laughs> is, uh, let's see, who else is jumping out? Anybody? No? Okay. No. Um, you know, I need to. I guess learn to to make some of that because you know we have so many jalapenos so yeah. many although we are cutting back on our plants this year we did we did <laughs> but the amount of peppers we gave away last yeah. year yeah there's so much uh we're trying to just you know mm -hmm. grow grow more and find more uses or i'm trying yeah. to get hooked we, up on a weekly basis with the over, food shelf we over Committed over last committed, year. Over planted on our, especially the spicy peppers. So we're definitely going to have more than enough. What she's saying is 18 jalapeno plants <laughs> and 18 habaneros is too much. So <laughs> it's, it's like, oh. But that'll give us space for something else. Yes. Yes. 
Um, if we only do nine of each. Jalapeno mm -hmm. mustard. That mm -hmm. would, uh, if that turns out, let me know, Gwen. I'd love to hear yeah, we'll about that. We'll have to trade. <laughs> you see Food Empire. Thank you for joining us. We're, we're you, you're yeah. catching the last five minutes, but we appreciate uh, you joining us. Uh, uh, maybe you can put your name down below. I, I watched some of your shows. I can't think of your name. I, I apologize on that. Uh, I really do. Sorry about that. Um, there you go. Send me a note. Let, uh, send me a note here so I uh, shoot me your address. We'll uh, we'll work out something. Yep. We'll work out something. We really had fun trying that relish, mm -hmm. and it turned out fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm now. I mean, our, we're we're getting down to the five last five minutes here, but uh, um, with stuff starting, you know, we had that warm stretch. So I'm feeling like mm -hmm. okay, spring's here. The first thing that's going to come up. Is there going to be our asparagus? And it's it's going to be, mm -hmm. I would think, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we got to get that cleaned up. Yep, we got to clean off last year's stuff and get it mm -hmm. fenced out so that the girls can't get in there. Um, none of the hens can get in there and peck at it. Yeah. But for our CSA, that's going to be their first pickup. Is going to be and and they're already buttering buttering <laughs> us up for. Uh, we got yep. one one guy who went and got a very good bourbon. Yep. He and, got a, a deal on it. He was able to find some and got a good deal on it. And he said he was buttering us up. up for his extended shares of asparagus. <laughs> and and that might just work. So uh, bourbon yeah. for uh, for uh, asparagus. But we're going to also, as part of the CSA, when they come for asparagus, We've still got some squash from last year. Yep. Um, we've got some relish. The relish, some of those things that we're gonna put in our first. Uh, yep. Our first group, so it'll be fun. Uh, For sure. Let's see. Yep. Every everybody, you know, we're we're coming down. Uh, oh, you need yeah. to share. You know what? <laughs> I, I will. Melissa will uh, drop me a note, uh, and and we can. It turned out great. Um, yeah, it was actually with wages, Mrs. Wages. Yep, it, it, the one recipe. Of those packets in the in the recipes on the packet. But the the whole everything was from our garden. Yep. Other than the little packet, and it mm -hmm. was fabulous. I mean, yeah. just over the top fabulous. So shoot me a note, Melissa. We'll get that to you. Um, our email, just uh, our our emails, oldsweetsfarm at gmail .com. So you can shoot mm -hmm. us a note, but. Uh, Oh my God, it's over the top good. I think you're. I think you're up in Eden Prairie. We just need to get you a jar. Get yeah. get you to come down here, and uh, <laughs> we'll we'll get you a jar of it, something like that. So, hey, we're gonna. Uh, I think why don't we just start uh, winding it up here? We got two minutes left. I don't want to keep people late on a Sunday night. Um, one of these times over the next uh, couple months, we'll be able to do one outside. Mm -hmm. Won't that be nice? Uh, the girls all running around. And the girls can run around. The girls, <laughs> I see the the door was mostly shut today because of the wind and the snow, but uh, all the the hens have uh, tucked themselves into the barn. We just need to go give them a little corn and uh, let, them, yep. let them settle down for the night. Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. Anytime, Melissa, <laughs> drop, drop us a note. You're welcome anytime. Yeah. Uh, anybody is, you know, if you're coming by. So, all right, everybody have a great week. We'll see you in two weeks. Hopefully in two weeks uh, we'll have no weather to complain about. Betsy, I'll try to keep my complaints down. <laughs> uh, but we'll have more uh, gardening to talk about. Yeah. And uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where, am I? where are we? Going to make a sweet pickle relish. Okay. Yeah, this is like a sweet pickle with the heat. With the jalapeno, and it is so good. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for jumping yeah, in. Thanks. The discussion was great. Um, so fun to, oh, what did we have? U.S., yeah. Canada, England, Australia. Get Gwen's going to go feed Chevy one more time. Where's the, to oh, yeah, feed Chevy. You guys, everybody, go check out Bro Cow Girls, uh, the little, I think it's the second most recent video. <laughs> on Chevy. you got it. listen to that little yes. goat. And if that doesn't warm your heart, if you're having a yep. bad day, check that video out. So <laughs> yeah, everybody stay warm. Good night, uh, yep. everybody. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate all of you. Yep. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. Good uh, live.